my team for you now a quarter of some kind of daily update so hana babinya training news a echo so a organa main you know yes i'll say in any day dk i'm about to subscribe to our channel and i think so oh i didn't see be a bit in the about comment session or in a bit in my jeep i think so my office of a shape i'm all down for the news and you be a shape yes i'm young go straight to a major issue a year can over at again can it budget to you know and i interview because so after a parliament it's all Na e interview e MPP MPB ani interview e okuze to abrakwa. Na e brain interview ni kosu e nim se angriness na e like e western dia e nim a e MPP MP no e pabeto ni se ni ordinary sabe ka e okuze to se ni wo hu de for such a okase. A dia okuze to asabre o ji e ye information go e ye ye ma e kosu na ku e ni ma be pe go. ウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィーウィー
I mean, we are all here. What we approve, even after capping, even after you have capped, you have decapitulated these funds. You cannot even... That we went to salvage our economy and put it back on foot. Are we making a 10 or not? It's what the Ghanaian people will make a determination and say that, look, yes, we've seen the challenges that this government has done, had to go through. We know the sacrifice that the good people of this country have had to make. But I fail to see how a restructuring of your obligations amounts to a default. How, how is that determined? So please, I mean, look, I know that for you, the opposition, you will see nothing good about this budget, which is fair. It's up to you, okay, to pick and choose what you think that the performance of this government or the mark of this government ought to be. But the good people of this country, the greater majority of us, who are dispassionately looking at the issues, okay, would see clearly that this budget offers hope. It's clearly demonstrating a government that understands the issues, that is working assiduously to ensure that the issues are resolved. And I'm set that by the time that we get to mid-year next year into election 2024, the good people of this country will keep faith with the MCP the, the, and retain the, us in the, 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 so to continue the good work that we've started. About the, the macroeconomic indicators that the finance minister made reference to. These indicators we're talking about, the improvements has been as a result of a lot of the sacrifices that the Ghanaian people have had to I'm make. Without a doubt, yes. Because the impact of the DDEP but, cannot but be underestimated. No, not at all. And then also, even with this over, over, over 50 billion as a result, of, that's the Bank of Ghana's but, own, so, own so, haircut. So, 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 the, so the question is, on, how, how on, did we get there? Is on, it relevant? It is inconsequential. It, 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 it is, it is relevant and very it consequential. Is. Look, 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 we live in a country, right? We live in a country. Maybe those who have short memory can choose to stay in that terrain. I'm not. Issues in China in 2012, 13, 14, which was used as reason for going to IMF. You've forgotten. You've forgotten. All of a sudden, we have all forgotten. Look, the issues that confront us today are real. Nobody, the president has admitted it. The finance minister has admitted it. The vice president that they are happy to always tag has admitted that we have challenges. But I'm saying that how is it that a country that was relatively doing better pre-2020 all of a sudden has gotten to where it is that it is? Recall that in 2020, the president was clear in his mind that, look, the economy we know how to fix. This is not the time that we're going to deal with economic fundamentals or indicators. We're going to put everything aside and focus on protecting Ghanaian lives and livelihoods. And the decisions that were taken at the time has impacted our economic performance today. What was our solution post-COVID? We said, look, you go to the IMF, they will tell you cut expenditure. And you've seen clearly the expenditure measures that were introduced in 2023 that is yielding results. So we're going to do that on our own. You go to the IMF, they will tell you that raise revenue. You see the prior actions that introduce new revenue measures up to 0.9% of GDP. Which has, which has created the Precisely. branding for, for the business community. So, so the government says, let's raise revenue internally. We sat in this chamber and callously breached Section 22 of the Public Financial Management Act, which enjoins Parliament to do three things by 31st December. One, approve the budget. Two, pass appropriations. And three, pass every legislation that is required to implement the budget. Is that what happened in 2021 in this chamber? You don't recall mm -hmm. that we budget, mm -hmm. we pass the appropriation, which is only authorization to spend, and refused blatantly to pass the consequential revenue measures that was going to go to fund the budget. You saw the ratings agencies and the downgrade that happened to this country. Hence, the need for us to go to IMF. Now we say, let's take a complete step back. Restructure our obligations that we owe so that we can reset the economy. And clearly, that is exactly what the finance minister has achieved with the uh, 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 IMF Bank uh, program of economic recovery that has been approved, that we are implementing successfully as, as far as I'm concerned at this point. Okay, well, I don't know how we're on this particular it issue. Is, yes. it, is, it is important for us to put things in proper perspective and be very clear. In 2017, 2018, 2019, we were under an IMF program. So 
all the gains that were made, it was because we were under an IMF program. This crop of MPP leaders have been exposed that when they are not under an IMF program, and you see, I feel very sad as a young politician that how long will we keep depending release funds to them? This economy has been run aground. We all know it. What happened to the NAPCO guys? As we speak, they were asked to go home. Their arrears have not been paid. What is happening to newly trained nurses, newly graduated teachers? They are at home. Now even doctors have to wait for many months to be engaged. So if you talk to young people in this country, they are totally angry at the, the high level of mismanagement, which has virtually wrecked their future and, and destroyed any hope that they had. That is why people are leaving this country in droves. We are losing great talent, young, you know, inspirational people who could have been kept here to help us, you know, impressionable Ghanaians who could have helped us to transform our lot. He, he talks about, he, he talks about, please, 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 I'm not done. He talks, he talks about, he talks about the fact that our neighbors are supported by France. How about the Anglophone neighbors we have? He conveniently leaves them out. Is Nigeria doing a debt restructuring? Are we seeing any financial haircuts? Where, where, in, where on this continent are we seeing the pain, the anguish that is a Inti saa kumensishi na yao kwenye wino Eni ima ukuze tu akwa nisa ono so nkasa Because diye MPP MP ni kake kano Asa yunfa kwenye mbisa ano Ena eye ukuze tu abla kwenye kase Napku appears have not been paid Napku for na kese Ye ye omudi tu omo se Ye li agia fa Anye eba banyo juma Graduate for juma no Sevi mila ya de momo kwa munti minti Ama ya pa momo ni ya kwa gufi Wakasuna wakana se ye woni aban ni se ma on collapse e ye bank ne so so ba e ye aban mu no bank se wo gana nyina ogugu bank za hudu bi bri amaji za ho chire e na aba o to la ka ze e na sha ka ti dwa ni sika mu de vrem no ama ho chira ba gana wo jijin se mi wo ba ku ba ku ba ku na so e mp p m p o to wo ni won ka se ze ne ho chire ze din Ade muga muni message biya mosu kasa kasa sa. Iso wale mense mimi yuko tini sema yuko zeta bla kwa nabe tuja. Government has brought upon us. Where? Mention one country. So you cannot seek refuge. And and you see the 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 irony. These are the people not too long ago in opposition. You remember that Ivory Coast was a very very favorite reference point. At the time, they didn't know that monetary policy is managed in Paris. They didn't care about the whole francophone arrangement which which gives them some buffers but they kept telling us at the least opportunity they remind you that see what is happening in ivory coast across all sectors they will reference ivory coast today they say we cannot do same we can't hold them by their their, their own yardstick that we shouldn't go to ivory coast in any case there are over 22 billion that they spent on the financial sector cleaner who put a gun to their head to adopt that approach. Weren't you following the debate in this house when we cautioned that that was the nuclear option? It was such a reckless path that don't go down that road. What was your alternative? Yes. We pointed out the alternative. We said don't collapse these banks. Right. Adopt the approach we, 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 we had put in place where you do liquidity support identify which the was, which was squandered like people's private money right? identify those who were doing the squandering <laughs> you can prosecute them you, when you, when you, you can you can you you them, you can prosecute them don't in fact, don't they don't, they don't, don't please, 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 let me let, let me let me let me let me conclude let me conclude please 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 i am not done so 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 you so you you decided you decided you decided you decided you decided that you will engage in this approach, which, which increase government expenditure. Now, 
when you come to discuss government expenditure, you must also be comprehensive about it. Who asked President Akufuado to appoint over 100 ministers? All those amorphous, nebulous ministries and assigns and agents who were appointed, even at the presidency. Who asked them to do that? Projects that had absolutely no relevance to economic transformation. I can continue? You remember, you remember how much has been revealed went into that Nasha Cathedral Hall? 339 million Ghana cities. And all we see is the world's most expensive pit. Who forced them to do that? Who compelled them to do that? Presidential travels, 20,000 euros an hour. And you remember my running battles until the president stopped recently. So, so we, we, we have a group of leaders who decided that they will not be disciplined. Also, fiscal discipline is not in their vocabulary. They will spend like there's no tomorrow, have a bloated government, historic levels of, of, of appointments. We've never had 100 ministers as a country. Okay. We've never seen the number of presidential staffers that this government has. And you see, all of this have an impact on your ability to deliver on the actual needs, the felt needs of the people. So if today the people can see the roads, the people can see the hospitals, take La General Hospital, which they, they demolish and cannot construct. It is, being it, is, it is because of these things. Because you always have limited resources. Right. And if you decide that your priority is National Cathedral, your priority is chartered travel, this is what we get. Okay, some of the people talk about average of Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very, now, the, the, the debate on this budget has just begun, I, I and I you, told you, you what. You, 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 you uh, allow me to talk about the uh, allocation for the, the victims of the VRA-induced floods. It's very important. Yes. And, and, and in a minute, because we have I, to, because we that have that that is a significant development, and, uh, and 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 I think that in this entire budget, that's the only positive. Uh, that I would like to highlight, uh, except that I'll be cautiously optimistic because, you see, there's a world of difference between allocation and actual release. So the 220 million for the first phase of relief is positive, is worth highlighting. Uh, we are looking forward to the second phase, which the finance minister describes as the restoration phase. He's, he mentions two things, that they are looking at increasing the allocation to the Greek ministry to help us with livelihoods, because a lot of my people are farmers. Then the second uh, uh, option he gives is the application they have made to the World Bank uh, to, 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 to help us with the resettlement and compensation. So those are positive developments. I think that my chiefs and people will welcome it. And all those in the affected communities will welcome it. I just say, we need a dear tour and see for Mrs. Amwenya Jinchek Akadifa. MP MPP MP na uje na numo wakasasa like require me tia deno kampo like my style be uo fataka di jan toko huni na beso ni e ukuzo tabla kwa e kono ukuzo tabla kwa e kikansi ma like fat by fat but o deni e kikemu kikemu shouti fa deni guo kikansi ma u kiki kikungu ma u kikasa jise wanya junche fa bro comment section afi so ane ni di di kaya o ba subscribe it back na na afi so Chair more than for Sony Biachi. Any training news be a cause of parliament, it makes you sure say once I beca. We be at the top by the lap. The question be about one chain.